Hey there. Today we're going to do another my take on a pattern video. Just something with 12 strings that looks like it should be a lot of fun. So roll that intro. Hello and welcome. This is Kevin, also known as AWOL, and today we're working on pattern 62560, which is this one here. Um, interesting pattern. I'm not sh basically, I just want to see how we're going to. I'm not sure how many changes we'll make to this one. It's a nice pattern overall, but there's a few things that. I am concerned with them. One of those is centering it. I like having my patterns centered. So let's let's work with this. I'm basically I flipped it 90 degrees and I'm scaling it up in size so we can see what we're working with here. And so Basically, we can either start it centered right through here, or we can center it from here. If we center it from here, it's got four squares, so I'd have to move this line. Is that? No, you move it a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to start from here, and we're going to start with red as opposed to the uh, going with these greens. It's kind of difficult when you're do working with shades to see like kind of what's happening. So we're gonna we're gonna change the colors out here a little bit. So okay, so we're gonna start with the red, and next I'm going to go with an orange. You know, a little bit of contrast, but not too much. So this is going to be this one. So it kind of does sort of an arrowhead little thing like that. That's there. Okay. The next, it goes back to the first color and goes outside of that. All right. So this goes out, and then this is here, and makes a little X. All right. So before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's do the underlying strings. Just to sort of stay ahead of the game. Yeah, so this is going to come up to there. Okay. Kind of looking ahead at what how this works. So. And then this little red inside. Whoop. goes in the middle of this. I kind of don't know where it goes after that though. It's sort of out here somewhere. Alright, now let's do the orange. So now this bracelet uses, let's see, R, B, C, and D. It uses four colors. Alright, that's easy enough. And we can see that this has to zigzag in in order to be at these spots. Alright. So there, we are off to a good start. Now, let's 
take a look here. I'm not sure if we can fit a whole another segment into this or not. Let's see where it goes. We could go into something completely different. That would work. See, this goes just big enough to let the orange be inside, like that. All right, so then the orange goes this away. Right? No. Not quite. The orange. Makes the diamond and then there's just the little with the red inside like this. So then this red comes out. Oh, look at that. There's just enough room for the orange to do this one more time. It'll have a red in here and here. And then... So yeah, there's not enough to actually complete it one more time. So yeah, by measuring this out, we pretty much figure out what part to start it on. That's not bad. This is not necessarily, I think, where anybody would have tried to start the pattern. And as a result, it gives us a nice symmetrical bracelet in the end. So this is, this is a win. We haven't altered the pattern a whole, well, we haven't really altered the pattern at all yet. Um, but we have figured out if we wanted to have that nice symmetrical center this is how we do it. So this is cool. It's more work, I guess, to go to the trouble of like designing this out and putting in all this work with the graph paper just to have a bracelet centered. But I think when your customers are looking to buy a bracelet from you, I think it's one of the things that will get noticed. Especially if they're like people who actually have done bracelets themselves. You know, I think there's a, a knack of noticing like, oh, you went to great lengths, you know, you did a, a Kumi star and you got everything centered and, you know, things like this are a way of establishing yourself as being at least a step ahead of some other people that you know don't put as much care into a bracelet or only do bracelets that like say like a, a zigzag just a plain old zigzag bracelet can be done um and stopped at any point for any length you know so there's no there's you know when I'm trying to figure out like what size to make this thing I would use like something like that you know then afterwards I would know exactly how many knots are involved um, I think though when people see a bracelet like this of mine I think they notice the, the, the symmetry they notice the, the effort that goes into it and so yeah that's why I want to teach people I want people to be able to elevate their game and make something you know that they can be really truly proud of show off to their friends you know look how, how balanced this is it's so perfect so, yeah all right this is about as far as we can go with what we know is going on here next is the other color so now it's a question of there's two more colors so let's pick whoops let's pick a blue 
So it looks like when it's through here, the blue is just staying to the outside. And then where does it come? It comes in where this is and where the X is. And the rest it just stays to the side. Wait. The orange comes out there and there. Okay, so it just makes like a little S in here for the other one. Okay. That whoops, that sort of makes sense. It's just staying out except for that. Alright. Now this is this would be an easy change just to make this color come in here. Yeah, well, let's leave it the way they had it. It's not it's not bad. Oops. Get the black line with that one. Um Yeah, this is a this is different. Like I said, you could you could change how this path goes really easily, and um, probably might look cool. But I kind of see what they're trying to do with this other color, so let's try it their way and see where that goes. And mind you, this blue could have like kept bouncing in and out or whatever, but I mean, there's kind of no point in it. It's obviously kind of made it stay to the outside. Um, so next color, let's use purple. So that'll be the ones that are left in here. Now this is interesting. It would appear it would appear that we have a couple of strings left over. So let's just sort of follow this in. I'm not even sure this is like the smartest way of doing this one, but whatever. It's not going to hurt. Let's bring it down this way. That way it goes straight into this instead of coming out and doing a zigzag. So yeah, this is, we have an extra string here. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but there's construction going outside. And um, it's incredibly annoying. We got jets overhead. We got all kinds of background sounds. I really apologize. Hopefully my my mic isn't picking all this stuff up. It's it's supposedly it's a good mic, so hopefully I'm not subjecting you guys to all kinds of weirdness. All right. Oh, 
but we still have this red to sort. I was like, why is there seem like there's two strings? It's not, it's the other red. This should have been done before we did the purple. All right, so we have one string left and it doesn't get used. So we could either leave it exactly like this and show that that's an unused string or we can actually color it in. What did they do? Now they had two of the dark colors. Yeah, I don't I don't see a point to that. That's that's just weird. Okay. Um there's already two reds. One doesn't get used much. The other color that gets used a lot is this orange, which is really yellow in the in their pattern. And yeah, this is gonna cross in a couple places. If one gets short, you can exchange it for the long one. Again, if you're just, you know, posting it online, I say you make that the one that's left over white. That way the people will instantly recognize that it's not used anywhere in the pattern. And they can make their own choice. But in this case, I say we go ahead and we color it in with the color that we intend to use. And then from there, it will... be easier for me like when I'm actually cutting up my strings and stuff to see which one is which so yeah I'm not sure what colors I you know part of me says do it like the artist wanted with the greens and stuff but honestly I'm not sure what colors I wanted to use in this all right let's grab the this tool, the select tool, copy and paste, and then we use the flip tool to flip it vertically. And we just saved ourselves all that trouble of having to do both sides of this thing. All right, layer, anchor layer. And there's our bracelet, and it's kind of with these colors. It's sort of hard to see the the overlying pattern with it, but yeah, it works out. So yes, thank you for sticking around this long. Thank you for um, making me a part of your day today, and thank you to all my Patreon supporters who helped make this possible. Please be sure to like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and as always, don't get your strings in a bunch.